No one wants to hear? All right, no problem. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was on Tinder uh, a while back while I was in Hong Kong because I have I had like no luck in Hong Kong. Uh, no luck in here, no luck in Hong Kong. And uh, so I resorted to being on, being on Tinder. And uh, the first girl on Tinder was like, uh, so um, what do you want to do tonight? I said, uh, how about my comedy? I've got a comedy show come tonight, you know, would you like to come? No reply ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then second girl, ah oh, man, like she finally get getting some, you know, conversation going on. And the first thing she said is like, mm, so what is it that you do for a living? And I said, um, actually I'm kinda between jobs right now. And she's like, what do you mean by between jobs? It means uh, unemployed. And I never heard back from her again. <laughs> Yeah, that's Hong Kong girls. And so uh, the third one is a very strange one. Uh, actually, a very special one. Uh, there's something so special about this girl. You know what's so special about this girl's profile? She's got heels, not orcas! <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm um, like, wow, jeez. Uh, would you like to uh, have some fun together? And she's like, oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, definitely have some fun. And uh, yeah, what kind of fun can we have? Oh, it depends. You know what kind of fun? Yeah, can we have fun? Yeah. And she drops. 1,000 Hong Kong dollars. <laughs> and then I'm like, mm, something's not right. I'm not paying for this unless there's something sort going on. But I still see that something's not quite right. And so I show it to the friend next to me. And he's like, not to burst your bubble of excitement. You know, the girl profile you're looking at is actually a transsexual lady boy. <laughs> That's when I realized that I almost jumped the gun and pay a thousand bucks to suck a lady boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so let's go back to the uh, Sydney story I almost forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, apparently I used to live in Sydney uh, for no other reason than uh, uh, obtaining my uh, university, which would eventually lead to my citizenship. Uh, that's usually how it works with uh, you know, overseas people anyway. Uh, so every time you see like an overseas student, that's an over, that's like a future citizen for you. They'll most likely steal your jobs and get on center lane. You know? So uh, yeah. So uh, I was uh, walking in the street of of, uh, of of Sydney, right? And there's one guy just driving past me. Hey, fucking Asian! And uh, in exactly that accent. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, wow, jeez, how do you? Well, thank you for the assumption. Well, I wish I was fucking too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the best thing I've ever heard. Fuck, yeah. oh, man. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a female. You know, uh, but if I was female, you know, I would get both. You know, get called a fucking Asian and call you know, uh, show us your tits and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyone uh, can cat call people? No. Oh, uh, just me then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, you, you guys uh, ever uh, heard of um, uh, another scientific study that, that says that uh, apparently there's a correlation? You, you guys into science stuff? Yeah, obviously I'm an astrophysicist, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that really is no longer working as an astrophysicist, right? So uh, apparently uh, the scientific set study says the longer your ring finger is, then your finger, the bigger your neck is. <laughs> and so uh, if that correlation is correct, then all you need to do is keep pulling your ring finger, <laughs> you know, or possibility number two is to chop off your index finger. <laughs> See, I'm packing a huge one, you know, forget about this guy, come with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, um, so uh, did you know that, uh, oh, okay, okay, here's, here's a segment called uh, Terrible Joke of the Night, okay? <laughs> terrible One Liner of the Night, okay? Are you ready for it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, Terrible Joke number one. Uh, do you, did you know that lesbians love Roman histories? Do you know why? Because they love to Caesar. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Right? Terrible joke number two. <laughs> Did you know that uh, Jewish people 
you know, did, you know about Jewish people, right? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not how it goes. So, uh, did you know that uh, worst, the worst thing you can say to a Jewish person is what? Take a guess. Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh, uh, that didn't take long for you to guess. Alright, <laughs> oh, uh, see, that's terrible, right? Uh, and there's another terrible joke number three as well. Uh, <laughs> did you know that uh, in China, bad driving is not called bad driving, it's called population control? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, did you know that? Uh, why there are so many people in China? It's because our condoms are made in China! <laughs> yeah, always breaking up in case you don't understand. Right? Yeah, always breaking up, say. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, uh, that, that's uh, where we are at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, um, that's the thing with uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, this um, uh, uh, thing, you know, um, have you guys uh, ever been to the Sea World? No? I love going to Sea World because it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because, uh, because you know why? Because every single time I go to Sea World, I just like to carry a bunch of chopsticks and and a bunch of cutlery, <laughs> fucking handstand, yeah. and just go chuck them all into the swimming pool, and uh, yeah, and turn them into some yummy sashimi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Uh, do you know why I always pick Sea World? It's because the sea ships are never there. You know who they should protect? The, the, the fucking sea world marine animals that they should be protecting rather than, the, rather than in the, uh, you know, international waters, right? Do you know why? Because there are always tons of refugees that, that they get into conflicts with. You know, all the sharks and whales are just eating the refugees alive when they're both capsized. And so, uh, you know, if you want to save your refugees, maybe you should just allow some of us to go out to the ocean and just capture some of them so that they won't eat your refugees. <laughs> you know? Yeah, left wing people should work together. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, um, did you know that um, uh, there are a few rules in uh, you know, uh, the School of Mathematics and Physics, which is the school I graduated from? Uh, what rule number one is that uh, every single number that you know behind the digit of the pi number, the less the, t the less likely you are going to get a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and also number two is that uh, you know uh, what? You know, this is a really dirty joke. Uh, did you know that uh, there's a lot in common between a black hole and a vagina? Which I've never had any, any experience with, obviously. <laughs> and there's a, uh, once you come in, you never come out. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a lot of uh, terrible jokes, uh, definitely. So, uh, are you guys walking out? Yeah, we're getting somewhere else today, sorry. All right, no problem. Uh, all right, uh, like I said, there, there will be a refund if you Thank think you, uh, you're trying. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yeah. Oh, looks like I really wasted your time. Okay. Uh, but don't worry. There will be a refund uh, after this. And guess what? You can tip tip us as well. Because you know? <laughs> these comedians, they don't have anything to live for. They don't have a job. They don't have anything. And by the way, this jar, by the way, is a measuring bowl to measure jar as well. So don't pee in it. Okay. That doesn't count. That does not count. And uh, you know, uh, a lot of like Aussies. They have a lot of uh, bean and singlet that they wear after they visit Bali, right? So, uh, what do Asians have to identify them, themselves as being Asians? This. <laughs> a sun visor. You know what <laughs> so, uh, what does a sun visor do? Well, here's uh, where Power Rangers come from. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, Power Rangers! Do, 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 do. Now, back to. Uh, Purple guy from the Beagle. 
Yeah. So uh, what a transition right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> what a transition right there. So uh, yeah, um, anyone ever um, had trouble urinating lately? <laughs> no one? Just me again? Or it's always just me? Okay, no problem. You know, uh, some years ago, I had some trouble urinating. And so uh, I went to the doctor to try to get like a medication to cure uh, of my illness, right? And not only did that medication not work, but also that, uh, you know, I lost all my libido. I lost all my sex drive. Well, I know, don't get, out, don't get ahead of me. Don't feel sorry for me. Because why? I don't have a girlfriend to fuck! <laughs> you know, not having a girlfriend, but you don't have a lot, but you have a lot of sex drive. You sort of like, you don't have a car and you don't even have a driver's license to drive a car, but you just like, hold a lot of petrol in the backyard. <laughs> you just end up burning down your house instead, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I want to say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, uh, are you guys uh, into any more, uh, you know, scientific study as well? Well, you don't have a choice. Okay? <laughs> I'm doing the uh, driving here, yeah. Although I can't really drive, you know. So, uh, apparently what they say is that uh, a man can live longer just by staring at breasts. Did you know that? So if that's true, then uh, you know that's why every single time I go out, I just like to stare at tits all the time. We stare at tits all the time. You know, uh, obviously a lot of them, a lot of women are like, oh, don't stare at tits, and I'm like, you know, I'm not a perfect. I'm just trying to live longer. <laughs> you know, and so uh, by covering your tits, ma'am, you're committing a murder. <laughs> and obviously, I'm a fair trade guy, so in return, you can stay at my dick <laughs> if you can find it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's funny, I thought. Uh, <laughs> that's funny, I thought. <laughs> By the way, uh, some years ago, uh, I was told that, uh, you know, um, well, if you want to be a successful comedian, you will have to tape yourself, which uh, is what I've been doing. Uh, I think, unless uh, my phone has one of battery. That's so good. Uh, okay, oh, all right, I'm surprised. And uh, I've been asking around for a lot of advice as well. And one piece of advice I got from a guy was, um, can you just do something that doesn't involve speaking? <laughs> <laughs> You, you guys know them anyway, I will tell you backstage. Um, and so obviously, I punch a guy in the face, obviously. Um, and he's now doing really well in Brisbane. <laughs> and so I went over to someone else and I asked her, hey, uh, what do you think I can improve on? Hey. And her response was like, uh, sorry, I can't really give you any advice because I really couldn't understand a word you just said. <laughs> And obviously I'm deterred, I think you're, you're just full of shit, you're just jealous of me being funnier than you, right? <laughs> and so uh, I went over to my recording, went over my recording, I realized that the audience is fine, you know, the atmosphere is fine, the bar stuff is good, and even allow me to stare at the tits. <laughs> and uh, there's only one thing that's wrong, and there's, even I can't understand a single word I'm saying! <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think, how, how are we doing for time? Do you got time? I don't know the time. You've been doing 20... Did you start recording this when you got on? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, well, the recording this, you've been doing 26 minutes and 50... What time is it? I'm just 7.55. Oh, 7.55. 55. Okay, we're very close to, uh, the, to the ending now, which <laughs> is... <laughs> Tipping time! <laughs> Tipping time, you know what I'm saying? No change, no change, any change, any change, you know? No change? No change? Oh, no change, no way. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I will um, allow the uh, the other guys to uh, come back up on stage and promote your show. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, by the way, oh, there's one more thing I haven't clear yet. Why the show is called uh, No Tips or Kid Check. Have I told you guys yet? Okay. No. Here's why. Here's why, okay. It's that, um, you know, some years ago, I was in uh, Brisbane. Oh, sorry, I was in uh, Melbourne. You know, visiting from Mel visiting from Brisbane, and I was uh, interrupting the conversation of two famous comedians, 
Uh, one of them is, is dead now, I think. I've been, I, well, definitely from cyberspace anyway. I've been trying to Google him everywhere, I can't find him. 